What's up guys, um, this will be a little review on Tapco Magazines for the AK. Um, I've shot an AK 47s my, all my life. Um, I didn't shoot the uh, Tapco until, I don't know, I was 21, 22-ish, whenever I bought my first AK. Um, my dad, he, has, he always used the metal mags I don't know if they were surplus or he actually bought them when they was pretty much new I don't know he had them ever since I can remember I'm sure some of them was probably surplus he probably got 15 or 20 you know um, but I have used these extensively uh, I don't do stuff like nothing fancy with them but I've put AK rounds I've shot my AK more than any other gun I've, I've ever shot uh, that I've owned um, I don't know not counting what I shot when I was younger I've shot my own I've shot probably about 10,000 rounds through my AKs and other people's AKs that they've brought over and Thousand, probably a couple thousand rounds on them. these are the first two that came with my I think both of them came I might have bought with my Wasser you know I got them taped together jungle style for those of you who don't know um, stick it in take it out when it's empty rack it back in you got 60 rounds ready to go I don't trust drum magazines I've seen them malfunction way too many times and that's every I've never seen it. I don't know about the shotguns because shotgun bolts are bigger. They're not double stacked a lot of times. They might. I, I, I could see them maybe working. I don't know about the beta mags either. But I'll never trust a drum magazine. The Thompsons were known for jamming. Um, hell, pre boy Floyd. I mean, all there's been plenty of the gangsters and many more alike uh, known for drums jamming. They're just that's. I'm sorry if it hurt your feelings, but seeing every single drill magazine I've ever shot and had seen shot quite a bit has jammed one point or another. I stick with these 30 rounds. There's enough to do the job. If you can't, if you don't think it is, do this. Duck down for a second, jungle style. Anyway, now something I have noticed on these. Let's see if you can see it now. With the Wasser, I don't know if these were designed for the Wasser because I've heard a lot of people complain. Let me get this out of the way. It's kind of bulky. Um, so a lot of people complain that these are kind of needed to run in their Wasser. Um, now, my dad has one, he has a couple AKs, and he runs a surplus through his fine, but to complain about mag wobble. And I can't see mag wobble being a problem. If it moves back and forth like this, that's not going to be a problem in AK hell. People pour mud and sand in them. Throw them into swamps, and I've seen this happen. Um, and they run fine, so a little bit of mag play isn't going to do anything. Now, if you got mag wobble where yours is tilting like this, you may have a problem. Um, you know, especially if it's like that. Now, if it's just a little bit... That's not the mag. If you're having a problem with the magazine, it's not the magazine wobble. It's or it's not your gun. It's the magazine. Um, I don't know how surplus is nowadays. Like I said, I've been getting burnt from hell by buying surplus lately. Not just the moist and the gant problems. I've had just some of my other friends and you know I'm seeing online that you know it's like two out of the t two out of the ten surplus mags they're finding is not working right. I ain't got time to, I ain't going to risk my life on that. Um, like I said, I own, I own about 10 of these right now. Now that I own another AK, I'm going to buy some more because you can never have too many magazines. Um, you know, um, but anyway, these do wear a little bit. And they wasn't wearing as much. I think that these should be still right here. 
Tavco should really reinforce this front with steel. But maybe it's kind of designed to do that a little bit. I don't know. Um, I know when I first got my SGL 2171, uh, 71 just means the longer stock, and I'm trying to stress that in my videos because a lot of people don't realize that they come with a longer stock on there. And the longer stock, you know, the short stock, you hear Warsaw Pack stock and your standard link stock was made for Russia and all those cold countries around there of old Russia. You know, um, they wore heavy winter clothing. And I just learned this from Iraqi veteran, which is some some really good news. I always wondered why the stocks are so short. But my dad, who's a Vietnam vet, just the other day picked up picked up my gun, uh, and just he fell in love with the stock. Um, I said, "Hell, the grip even feels bigger than his." He was wondering if he could throw one on some of his AKs, you know, the NATO League stock. And you can do that with the Wass Wasser Timber Smith makes the Russian red. It's got a uh, uh, um, a longer style butt plate, and they may even be introducing different styles this year. They've talked about it. Tapco interviews, matter of fact, that's who makes the Timber Smith stocks, and they look good. But anyway, matter of fact, I didn't even think to mention that to him. His gun spray painted OD green. I'm not sure he really cares about the color of it, but um, these come in different colors. I've never had one single malfunction in anything. Um, I've shot them in Mac 90, um, a few different Wassers, uh, AMD. That's the uh, Hungarian version. Uh, it's like a tanker's rifle, it's a short, it's got the big muzzle brake on the front to make it legal. Um, but, the, for these to work smoothly into my SGL, my arsenal, it had to be, had to be kind of worked in, and had some little rough spots show up, and I took some, like, thousand grit sandpaper and just smoothed it out. Didn't have to be done, but I like to do it. I didn't put much time, I just kind of... You know, like there's a little piece right there. And like I said, I hadn't spent much time working these in and out. I worked them in and out until I felt comfortable with them. But they're kind of made a little, they have to be made a little wider to uh, accommodate for the Wasser. But I was planning on going with uh, Bulgarian Waffle Mags. I hear a lot of good stuff about them. But I've shot enough rounds out of this out of my arsenals and switched reloaded in and out that I feel comfortable with just and I've used them back in my other my Century Arms Wasser 10 um, but this, it still shoots fine out of that too um, then I'm probably just going to buy some more and um, you know right now it's got some new ammo in here that I've never shot the Tula ammo I've shot every other kind of ammo I've never picked it up um, I see a lot of good deals on it online I plan on buying some so pick some up at the Walmart I'm gonna try it out um, in both my different mags and also I shot this this comes with this little five round mag it's a uh, I guess the KVAR magazine uh, Bulgarian this shot well out of the Wasser too so even the waffle mags I'm sure will be fine I, I do plan on probably buying at least one or two of the waffle mags just testing them out but for $30 a magazine and they're hard to find um, just a little review on it you can take you can take off the butt plate and uh, clean everything um, I'm not sure what the warranty is on them but tap codes normally pretty good about everything they probably got a good warranty um thanks for watching guys